The search for bodies in the rubble of a collapsed garment factory building in Bangladesh has ended, with the death toll at 1,127. The collapse was one of the worst industrial disasters in history. For nearly three weeks, rescuers have combed through the wreckage of the eight-story Rana Plaza building outside Dhaka. The last body was recovered Sunday night. On Monday, roughly 100 garment factories near Dhaka were shut down amidst protests over the death of a 22-year-old garment worker whose body was found Friday inside a factory. A police official said Parul Akhtar had committed suicide. The 19-year-old worker, who spent 17 days trapped in the building's rubble before emerging on Friday, recounted her experience Monday. Rashma Geboom said she will never again work in a garment factory. During all those days, I only had four pieces of biscuit and a little water. I could not get anything else there. There were some people on the next floor. They all died. They were all shouting, but I could not find them. They were shouting, Sister, save us. I tried, but could not find them. It was all God's will. I was not afraid. I don't know where I got so much mental strength. Several major firms that profit from low wages in Bangladesh have signed on to a plan requiring them to help pay for fire safety and building improvements at factories. Those who back the plan Monday include Sweden-based H&M, the largest purchaser of Bangladeshi garments, British firms Primark and Tesco, and Spain's Inditex, which owns the Zara chain. The legally binding contract requires companies to conduct independent safety inspections, pay for repairs, and end dealings with factories that refuse to improve safety. The apparel company PVH, which agreed to sign on last year, is the only U.S. company to embrace the plan. Walmart, the second largest producer of clothing in Bangladesh and The Gap have not signed on.